Okay, there is one small issue when embedding class kick into Schoology if you are having students record audio and video. So <clears throat> watch here, I'm gonna put my student in, that's me, fake student, click continue, okay? And you'll notice that if I go to record audio, it's gonna say you've blocked access. It's not from up here. If I go into site settings, the microphone uh, will say allow, will say allow for uh, camera. Close this out, we'll reload this page. Okay, so let's try it again. Okay, click on audio, see blocked access and clearly it is allowed. The reason is it's because it is embedded in Schoology, okay? So um, a workaround, which, uh, so I'm gonna log out of this because it won't let me, at least I set my roster is that it only lets students log in from one device. So to record audio and video, you have to use this link. So that means you would bypass this step of embedding it and just use a link. So if I click the link and use my same student, okay, this time when I click on audio it is going to allow me to start recording, okay? So it was not a computer setting, it is simply that, and again, I'm gonna log out of here because again, I have the, I set it so that students can only access it from one device at a time. I don't want them multitasking on multiple devices, okay? So if, and this only applies if you want your students to record audio or video, do not go through the steps of embedding the page because students will be unable to record their audio. Instead, just use the link, okay? So it's actually gonna be a little bit easier to set up. You don't have to go through the iframe generator, get the HTML, HTML code to paste in. So you can just make a normal assignment with these directions, put the link. I like to put it clickable up here. Students sometimes just don't see this tiny little link at the bottom for some reason. So I use the embed here. So where that is in the actual assignment. So here is me from the teacher version. So you can see here what I did is I highlighted those words, click here, went to link, and then that is where I pasted the code Okay, for students um, to access it. And then all I would do, if I don't want them to have this, I'm just gonna delete that because I'm, they can't record the audio and video from within Schoology. So it is not a huge deal because if you look, when students um, use this link, it just pops right up, okay? Also, make sure your students are using Chrome, otherwise that's a whole nother set of difficulties. Uh, Schoology loves Chrome, it doesn't like most other browsers, and ClassKick is no different. Okay, so not ideal, but that's the workaround for students needing to record audio and video.